You're watching Fox 9 News. Thanks so much for joining us here tonight at 7. We begin with a group fighting for reunification of children who they say were legally kidnapped, and that group has now won its first case in court. It all started when Amanda Weber's 10 month old son was taken away by Child Protective Services for what it called medical neglect. Our Karen Scullin is in our newsroom tonight, and Karen, this group is kind of hoping their efforts can lead to some changes in state law now. Absolutely. This is just the beginning for the Family Preservation Foundation, but it was a four-month battle. Founder Dwight Mitchell says never should have happened. He's fighting for change, and he hopes it starts with the case of Amanda Weber. Amanda Weber was thrilled the day she got her baby back, but she missed a lot in four months. I look at the foster mom and said, he's walking now? And she's like, yeah. And like, it was so devastating. It was 120 days of pure hell, at least six hearings in front of a judge, and again and again she was told, no, you are not a fit parent due to medical neglect. Two pieces of information from two hospitals, from Children's Hospital and from St. Cloud Medical Center, that said her son was okay. Yet still she filed a petition to remove him from the family home. I wasn't innocent until proven guilty. I was guilty until proven innocent. It all started in May. Amanda brought Xavion to Children's Hospital for a cough. Doctors determined Xavion was fine and stable. After a long wait for another doctor, Amanda wanted to go home and signed that she was leaving against medical advice. But the next day, Xavion was immediately taken away by CPS for medical neglect. It was the start of a months long battle with CPS. He didn't need any medication. There was nothing wrong with him. He just had a cold. And so this started a chain reaction. And when we proved to social services that there was nothing wrong with the child, they still wouldn't relent. Dwight Mitchell calls this legal kidnapping. It happened to him. It happened to Amanda Weber. And Mitchell says it happens all the time. It's not unique to Amanda. As a matter of fact, it is the norm. Um, I have another mother who is, is going through the same situation right now. Last week, Xavion finally went home. The trial judge ruled that disinformation was used to continue the hold and that the petitioner had failed to prove by clear and convincing evidence that the child is in need of protection. I'm not against CPS. I'm against CPS in its current form and its laws. The current system is antiquated. It needs to be abolished. The disparity in the system needs to be eliminated. But it took 120 days, a mother and baby separated for four months, for what appears to be only allegations that in the end were proven to be false. I'm frustrated, I'm angry, and I'm on a mission to help bring about change. And the group is raising money to help low-income families with their fight. We have a link on our website. Just go to fox9.com.